So it turns out I've got something on my uh, So it turns out that um, all these prats saying over unity isn't possible are um, prats. I've just been reading an article about liquid metal fast breeder reactors. It turns out that the um, great big lump of plutonium, a small lump of uranium and a little bit of zirconium and make an alloy out of it and they use that as the um, the fissile material to create the nuclear fissile chain reaction and then because water stops the uh, neutron bombardment it's like a an isolator it's like an insulator some clever boffins thought oh no let's use uh, uh, mercury or some lead or some sodium or some sodium potassium mix as a uh, coolant so then you get liquid metal fast breeder reactors what this does is the, the metal, the liquid metals, allow the um, neutron bombardment to go on. And what they do is um, they they surround the reactor with uranium. But inside the reactor, they use uranium two three eight uh, for the alloy for the fissile alloy. And then surrounding the reactor, they put uh, uranium two. Three five, and um, because of the nuclear chain reaction, uh, neutrons are emitted. The um, enrich the uranium two three five to two three eight, and then once it goes above two three eight, it turns into plutonium and becomes to plutonium two three nine, and if you run one of these fast breeder reactors it actually produces more fissile fuel than it uses <laughs> which uh, people say is impossible now obviously um, you've got a chain reaction going right? and that chain reaction produces heat and from that heat we produce steam and that produces electricity through um, steam turbines all right so that's a nuclear that's a nuclear generator now some club kind of boffin thought well if we use liquid metal as a coolant instead of heavy water now we can do something called breeding uh, uranium into plutonium i.e. the name fast breeder and um, once they got the first one running they actually realized that it produces more <laughs> more fuel that it uses. So again, it, it, it produces more fuel than it uses. Now, not only does it produce more fuel than it uses, i.e., the amount of plutonium that you burn, or the amount of plutonium that you use to produce electricity, it creates more plutonium than it's used, and you get the electricity. Do you see what I'm saying? It's not only a single bonus where you get some electricity from doing all this, you also replenish your fuel stocks plus some. <laughs> it isn't that you just replenish your fuel stocks, you replenish your fuel stocks and you get some extra. So that makes it pretty much over unity. But on the grand scale of things, you've got to use that electricity to uh, power your lighting so the engineers can see what they're doing when they're uh, building things. And then you've got to use that electricity to power the, uh, the vehicles and the robots and all those other things. But at the moment, what do we do? We use oil. <laughs> Always stupid. 
aren't we the stupidest intelligent beings in the universe we've got a technology and we've had it for 30 40 years fast breeder reactors and we're just not using them I feel we're not using them because uh, religious people can't accept over unity because if you see over unity the one a lot of these religions say well one thing created everything and his name is God or Allah or Zeus or whatever it would be. It's Ra, Ra, not Zeus, no, this is God. You know what I'm saying? And it pretty much says, well, we can do what he does. We can create something from nothing. That's what it's saying, basically. Now, humans have the technology to do what God does. Create something from nothing. And they don't like that. So they, they try to suppress it. They are suppressing information because they're that paranoid that when people see that what is possible is possible, and it is possible, that they're going to lose faith in their religion and make it wake up. You understand? Liquid metal fast breeder reactor. It's over unity. It produces more fuel than it uses. You just have to go and read it. Now, not only that, that's a fission reactor. That's a nuclear fission reactor. Now we're making nuclear fusion reactors. They're just enriching uranium by these fast moving ne neutrons. I wonder if we can um, harness fast moving neutrons in another way and gather even more energy directly from them. You, you know, I, I think we can. <laughs> yes. You wait, mate, until we start tapping into the power of neutrons directly <laughs> over unity, perpetual motion. A cinch, mate. It's a cinch. I'm sorry, but all those people that don't think over unity is possible, you're going to stick that up your ass because you're all a bunch of arseholes. It's not that you you don't believe, because I don't care if you believe or not. Those people out there that don't believe in over unity, there's, there's no non-belief no more. It's complete ignorance, mate. You've got to be completely and utterly ignorant. That means you haven't read what the scientists are doing these days. You're just going along like a bunch of sheep Bah! Over unity doesn't work. Bah! Over unity doesn't work. Bah! I'm a sheep. Ah! 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 You're living in like you know, well, you're living in the last century now, mate. And it's not even the last century. It's um, it's halfway through the last century. I knew over unity worked, right? I worked it out myself. I didn't need anybody else to tell me that over unity worked. I worked it out myself 20 years ago. And now, now anybody out there that says over unity is impossible, still, you really, really ought to think about um, not bringing up children or fostering your children away because you're not helping their futures. Because we know over unity works now. Like I say, FBR, Fast Breeder Reactors. Go and read about them. You non-believing, oil-barren, bum-fluff idiots.